Good morning guys, I'm back here over at Casones RV in Mesa, Arizona, and we're going to go back on that 2002 Winnebago journey, but we're not going to work on the slides this time. We're going to look on something else. So on this journey, this has the first generation power awning on it. It's the original one that came from the manufacturer. This is a Dometic one. I don't know if you guys can see up there. One step. It's a one step Dometic awning. That's kind of clever what they're trying to do because this, like I said, is the first generation power awning that Dometic was putting out. So I say it's clever because this is a one step. They had a non powered awning that used a very similar arms and they called it a two step. Now, at the same time, Carefree of Colorado had a, another power awning, which was first generation, called a one touch. But uh, all these first generation ones had problems, so I'm really surprised that this one made it so long. So if we run it out, let's see, go out. You guys can see it's definitely struggling. That motor is quite loose and they don't support this one anymore. If we look at the arms, it has this uh, little spring loaded tab right there to help kick it out. And then on the outside, it has the struts on it. And these struts and these arms are obsolete about 10 years ago. Now, I don't know if you can appreciate it, but that's a much newer fabric because it has a fade on it. So the owner would really like to have an awning. Awning is one of the best accessories you can have for an awning. But he doesn't trust this thing to run it in and out and not have it fell on him. And an awning that's stuck out is not a good uh, accessory or experience. So believe it or not, I might surprise you guys. Parts have been kind of an issue here lately, and getting awnings has been a bit, pretty big issue. So what I've arranged to do, I'm gonna team up with my, my friend Stacy with Awnings R Us, and the tube itself is good, the fabric is good, and the metal wrap is good, so all we have to do is replace the arms and the motor. Now, there's a motor on the front and a torsion assembly on the rear, so it shouldn't be too big of a job. The downside is that these arms were a little bit longer, so I might have to do some modification down here to make it look prettier, but that's what we're gonna do. Should hopefully go really well, because the tubes haven't changed and the metal wrap hasn't changed, and of course the fabric is already new. But we just wanna make sure he has a reliable one that's not obsolete and you get parts for it down the road. So let's get them going and let's see how we do. What do you think? You guys ready to do this? <laughs> The popular guys at RV Awnings are us. Gotta make sure I get this part out of the way. New business cards. Wow, RV Awnings are us. Those are nice looking. Look at you. Yeah. Alright guys, again, it's not sponsored. They're just a good friend. But I'll leave the information in the uh, link below. Or in the description below. So we shouldn't get any comments this time about how do we get a hold of these people. All right, we got them coming in. Let's get this one knocked out. So I will help if they need help, but I doubt they need my help. And I will stay out of their way and try not to be annoying. So even still, it was uh, still difficult to track down the parts to retrofit and upgrade this awning. Skip my ads. If I skip your ads, your, your daughter's gonna go hungry? They're gonna go hungry. I'm sorry. That's okay, I don't, I don't YouTube for a living. <laughs> um, so these are the new arms we're going to replace with. They're not weather pro. It's just a standard uh, 9100. 9, yes, and of course, like you were saying, unfortunately, the part situation being what it is, black is the more common part. And so that's what they're producing right now. So white's hard to get. So we did have to upgrade to a custom paint job. But that's fine. Because it's custom. It's custom. It's no good. extra charge for that. Everything no. in life buffs out. Even when it doesn't buff out, it buffs out. It buffs out. It, it, it's customized with love. Basically, we're going to uh, undo the uh, awning, roll it down, take the arms off, put new arms on after we put the new motor in, the new torsion in, and put everything back together again. All right, so right now he's going to take the set screw out of the awning fabric. Would this awning open up at all? Yes, absolutely. We want to run it out uh, about a foot to foot and a half. That's good. All right, the expert said it's good. So if you like your teeth, so this side has the torsion on it. Yes, sir. This side will take your lunch off. We'll show you the part that's real scary here in a minute. Make a noise. Make a noise. Here we go. There. Wasn't even that bad. So on this side is the motor. This style has a spring on it. I didn't know that. 
All right, now they're just gonna roll it down. It's so much easier to do it this way than up in the air. Point, but yeah. We're maintaining all the original roller assembly parts. Other than the rear spring, it's getting changed up. The motor's getting changed out. We're keeping the same fabric and metal wrap. Yeah. And just changed up the hardware as they probably already know. Yeah, the fabric's pretty much brand new. caution when aiming the drill at yourself. Yeah, especially in that general area. And don't have your partner spin the tube on you. <laughs> Drilling out the three rivets on each cap. So these are the obsolete style torsions and motors. Joink! Two on that one. There it is. There's only two. Only two rivets on that one. Only two rivets. Original style is the non-tubular motor. Yes. Has spring on it. It does have a spring. I didn't know that. You gotta be very careful that it get you. Yes. There it Willie was. That was bent. No, it fell off. Never mind. Uh -huh. The end came off. Uh, it was discontinued around 2002. About the time this was banned. Yeah, this came out about 03. Right. The Louisville show. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, the Louisville show. It's in the good old Back in the good old. Dealers are allowed to go to like SEMA. Must be a dealer. Something like that. So there's the new torsion and the new motor. But it uses the same tube. Same tube. Clicker free. Clicker free, aye aye. So no torsion on this side. Of course these have a built-in brake on that motor, right? Yes, they are working on my grip strength since you don't have your fancy Pneumatic one. Oh, you still have you guys haven't made enough money to buy a new uh, electric one yet? I think we keep our grip straight. Christmas is coming, James. That was in the last video. <laughs> Let us use it. <laughs> so these have a three three rivets on them. Yes, sir. You don't really have to worry too much about lining up the uh you do. The strap. Well, I mean for the accessories for sure. For the accessories, so you do. Yeah. And then on the inside of the end cap there are two little tabs right that line up with a slot so that everything lines up well this tube doesn't have the slot being the old style right so you just crack break them off crack those off yeah okay i've always done that too yep. so as long as you line up your slot your accessory slot you're good to go accessory slot is a slot in the uh the tube on the other side where the pole strap would have been but where you can add fabrics lights other accessories so you want to make sure you can pull that in and out of that cap i'll show you so there's a notch in the cap right there to allow accessories in and out. So now we're going to take the arms off. You know, the Weather Pro is also discontinued. Yes. Yeah, about three years ago. All right. The, the 9100 is now the flagship. Now keep in mind, these are uh, spring-loaded gas struts, so without those straps up there, it would want to pop open. I've never done that. Way one, like way two. <laughs> there it is, look at that. Could have smacked somebody in the face. She's a tooth Get those screws out of there and the lag screws right up there. At the top. The whole arm will come off. She's a little wobbly. <laughs> I know, but it couldn't hurt to have help. It doesn't ever hurt to have your help, that's for sure. What are we up to? Uh, almost 29,000. All right, there's one arm. There's two arms. And, uh, the safety guy just throws it on the ground. So, we're about 68.5. So, we need some of that old arm channel. Cut it with a chop saw and just mount underneath. Yep, that was my plan. What you using there? 100% silicone? Yes, sir. Clear?
Wow, the CSL or CRL. That's the good That's stuff. The good stuff. Sure. All right, just gonna fill up them holes right there. And he's gonna go ahead and put rivets into those holes where the other screws used to be after sealing it. Content, you know? Well, I don't know if it's fun, but well, I'm not doing the work. I'd to learn or just kind of like see what they don't want to do, you know? You know, I could have grabbed my electric rivet gun for you. It's okay. It's Monday. Usually I go to the gym on Mondays. Yeah, so we're about uh, 17 and 13 sixteenths. Uh, it's the same uh, as the new awning today. A huh? Dramatic, uh, 18 foot tube will be 17 feet 6 uh, half inches. Okay, that's good to know because I think those pre-made fabrics are like a foot shorter than you think they want to be, right? Yeah, about 10 inches. Yeah, so you, you yeah. think it's an 18 foot awning and you get a seven, so you get 18 foot and it's a 17 foot fabric and you're like, this looks awful. Right, and a lot of people buy their own fabrics and they're and they're ordered off the old fabric size. Right. That's a bad place to measure because they shrink over time. <laughs> and plus, if it's still the same size, and they tell someone 17 feet, but right. it's 17 two. Right. The person's gonna order them for 17 feet foot on it's gonna be 10 it's in inches less than that. So it's 16 feet two inches. Uh, two. Showing your fabric, fabric could be right here. Yes. But you know we can always cut them down, but we can't stretch. Stretch them. Stretching. Stretching's the hard part. Standing by until they helping out. Yeah. It's really clever. I use that uh, bungee strap. Normally I use zip ties, but that's even smarter. But I don't do this very often. It's reusable. It is reusable. So the next step is going to be to add tension on the torsion. You don't want to do this up in the air because it's dangerous up in the air. So here we go. Okay, old school way. Old school way. Old school way. Don't ever do it that way. Old school way. It's it hits it, you. It hurts your hands. New, We've all done that way. New school way. Right. It's still a scary way. Safer. So how many how many putting on this? Because everybody's gonna ask. Because it's down and I want to roll it up. Uh, I'm gonna put nine on it. Nine. Okay. Yeah. You got hands on. Right. Now, Set the that line. pin yes. lines up with that hole, and no idea. That's that. All right, so now there's tension on that. Now they're just going to roll it up by hand. If you noticed when he was rolling it, it was away from the uh, top of the coach. So it's kind of important to remember that. This is the part when uh, he likes to see, he goes to the gym all the time. So this is his gym time the second time. I've heard his there. He's working out two times every day. <laughs> He's doing his arm and work out. I got that in. Pulled the pin. So I pulled my pin so he could rotate it to get the motor in. Right. And I maintained contact so that it didn't pop out on me. And now I put my 7 16 on. I can go to you, Chuck. So it looks like they found the center. They'll put the screws back in the top for now. Make adjustments afterwards. All right, so we got the jumper wire. I'll plug it into the wall motor there. And run it down to high-tech uh, cordless battery. 50-50 shot. 50-50. It's either the right way or you turn it around. It's either going in or coming out. Either way. Either way. You got a 50-50 shot. The other 50. The other 50. Well, it's, uh, it's like watching a ballet. Just a little bit. Give our shake. Tight this dog here. Right, but you should undo it before you retract the awning, right? Yes. But that's nice to do. That way, if you put the back down a little bit lower, the water goes that way instead of to the entry door. All right, so we're going to close it up here. Square up the arms. Oh, 
this box till I find that other one. Aye, aye. <laughs> she does. So let's go ahead and retract it, huh? Nice. There it is. We upgraded a one-step power awning from Dometic way past the Weather Pro and up to a 9100. It says it couldn't be done. Kind of amazing what supply shortages eh, will force you to do sometimes. But they saved a lot of money, that's for sure, because the uh, tube, the fabric, and the wrap was still good anyway. I think we got it all right now. Our awning's done. Awnings are us. They got it done for us, and they're just going to clean up and get out of the way. Thanks a lot, Stacy. You're, You're a good man. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and also the ring the bell for notifications. I said that all backwards. And as long as it's in there somewhere. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. It was a pleasure working with you again. So obviously the last thing I have to do is manufacture something to cover up right here. We could have body worked it, drilled the hole, drilled the hole up there. It made it look pretty, but that's an awful lot of work for no real gain. It's going to be easier just to extend an arm to make it look intentional and have a functional arm again. So let me just do that real fast. Now, of course, it's not ideal, but we'll do with what we got. So it looks to be about seven inches is what I need. So I'll make two seven inch pieces. All right, I got two seven inches. Let's see if this fits. It's gonna be kind of hard to explain what I'm doing, but I'm gonna notch this section out. That way it'll fit in there pretty well. And then these screws will just screw down in between there. And it'll look decent enough. So I just have to drill a few holes right there for the top. Drill a big hole at the bottom for the wiring harness to go through. Oh, sealed those back up, put those back on. All I really do is, do is drill two more screws, holes down here, and then put it back together. And I'll just use the old plastic uh, cover right there, cut off a little suction, hopefully that will keep uh, everything in line for the wire. So I'm gonna stick with these guys right there. They just slide in. I'll screw them in from the side. It'll kind of dress it up, make it look intentional. As long as it's intentional looking, I think that's all that matters. All right. Okay. You're welcome. All right, so with that on, I don't know. I don't think it looks too bad. Let's Well, there it is, upgrading a one-touch Dometic power awning to a, I guess, a hybrid 9100 Dometic power awning. Still has the metal wrap on the top, fabric's in good shape, new arms, and we just had to kind of hide the holes that were there for, from the old arms. Definitely a lot cheaper than body working. Now he has an awning that he can get parts for and isn't obsolete and should last them at least another 10 years now i will say it's pretty rare to do this but like i said we just could not get a replacement awning because the awning's obsolete you have to get a whole new awning complete and unfortunately the supply situation being what it was didn't allow it so you can't upgrade them just uh, not many people are going to do that only crazy people i want to thank stacy and james with RV awnings are us. It's always fun to work with them. They're a lot of fun with those guys. Thanks a lot guys and thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Do I do the shameless thing to make everybody uh, watching it happy? Watching what? Happy? I, I, I say Semper Fi, right? Semper Fi. Hoorah. <laughs> happy birthday Devil Dogs from last week. I mean, awnings are one of the best uh, accessories you can have for an for an, one of the best one of the best. James Stenson. One of my things. Look at those shoes. I like it. I like Ultra it. Rad 4D. That's a big space for it. I grew up in North Houston. 716's where, driver. Yeah. Growing up in North Houston, that's all there is is grass and mowing the lawns in the summer. So I I don't miss it, but you miss the grass. But just, he misses it. Just not mowing. Yeah, the trucks were that clean. We got it for the dogs. Too. Not much noise. I almost killed somebody once on a two-step. I rolled it up backwards and we popped it and he was on a ladder and Whoops. it sprung out instead of...
break-in period on it. Uh, it's guaranteed for one year, and uh, we offer, with no extra cost, uh, the taillight warranty. So we'll, we, we don't start taillights anymore. The warranty's up. Because we fly by day, not by night. Exactly. Then lots and lots of people watch that other video. Lots of people watch it. Yeah, it was like over 100 grand on that other video. Found him. Found him there, legs. See Bobo's uh, grass in there. What, oh, you even got grass in there. Yeah, that's for Bo. That's for our little helper. Wow. Or sometimes it's administration uh, Monday. Administration Monday. I prepare for the week on a Monday. I it's always fun. Next time. We still have all of our digits. We didn't hurt ourselves with first and spring. Yeah, no, no fun stories about it. We already heard it. I've only messed up one time in my whole career here. You're much smarter learner than I am. <laughs> you know, I do one little video showing how proficient these guys are, and all they want to do now is just screw around and talk incessantly. Stacy does, James doesn't. Now believe it or not, we got another roof job going on over here. I don't think I'm going to help with this one. I'm roofed out. So not only are they starting this one, they're just finishing up this brand new roof. On this Majestic. And this was a rubber roof. Almost done. That's what you get when you lose a bet. <laughs> in, the in the Marines? In the Marines. In the Marines. <laughs> <laughs>